Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a what I eat in a day. Haven't done one of these for a while. I think I've only done maybe one on here on my channel before so I'm doing another one and it is currently almost noon but I've literally been out all day running errands. This week has been super chaotic. Madison has had the flu so she's been home all week and I have not been able to work out or anything which really sucks. So this week has just been really chaotic, but I've been trying my best to eat breakfast in the morning, although today I did not. I know I pick probably the worst day, do a what I eat in a day, but this is real life, so I did not eat this morning. But now that I'm back home, I did have half of a banana and also some almond butter on the banana, so I'll show you guys what almond butter I used for my banana. I'm also drinking some coffee right now, so I'm going to show you guys what I put in my coffee anytime I do drink it. I do switch it up every once in a while, so I'll show you guys what I am currently putting in my coffee. And then once I eat lunch, which I'll probably eat lunch in like about 30 or 40 minutes, I'll show you guys what I'm eating, which is a meal prep um, little lunch that I made. So I'm going to show you guys what I have right now, and then once I eat lunch, then I will show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. All right, you guys, so for my banana, like I said, I did eat half of a banana, and this is the almond butter that I put on my banana. This is probably one of my favorite brands. I always buy this. I also like the Justin's brand, but I've been leaning towards this Barney butter um, more often, and it's just a almond butter smooth, and it's delicious, so I put some of this on my banana. And then as far as my coffee, I just used this eight o'clock brand in hazelnut and my Keurig. And then I did one little squirt of this Stevia. This isn't the one I usually buy, but the Stevia I usually buy was out at my Kroger. So this is the only other one I could find. So I just did one squirt of this. And then as far as creamer, I used this silk almond creamer in vanilla. And I did probably one or two tablespoons of this. And honestly, this is sweet enough for me for my coffee between the almond creamer and then one squirt of the stevia, it's perfect. So that is technically my late little breakfast slash All right, snack. guys, so it is now currently almost one o'clock. It is 12.47, so I'm gonna go ahead and have some lunch. Like I said, I did meal prep, so I have some lunch already ready for me. So today I'm gonna be having a mixed green salad with some baked chicken. And then I also have a little side of sweet potatoes. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of mandarin oranges on top of my salad. Sometimes I like to put grapes and mandarin oranges on my salad. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the oranges on. And then also for dressing, I'll be using some poppy seed dressing and I'll just be having some water to drink. And I'm pretty sure after I eat this lunch, I will have like a little snack. I usually like to have a little snack after like lunch and dinner. For some reason, I just always need something sweet. So I'll show you guys whatever I decide to have as my sweet treat after my lunch. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys how my lunch looks. All right, you guys, so this is my lunch. So like I said, I do have some mixed green salad right here with some cut up baked chicken. And then I have some sweet potatoes right here that I just made in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna use a few of these little mandarin oranges and throw on top of my salad. And then as far as dressing, I'm gonna be using this poppy seed dressing. It's so good. So I'll be putting a little bit of that on my salad. And I just have some ice water right here. And then like I said, I will probably have like a sweet little snack after. So I'll show you guys what I decide to have as my snack after my lunch. And this is how my salad looks when I was completely done just setting it up. I also did warm up my chicken and my sweet potatoes really quickly in the microwave. And then I did add some of these tortilla strips to the top of my salad. I don't always add this to my salad, but today I felt like adding a little bit to the salad. All right, you guys, I almost forgot to show you guys what I'm snacking on. So it is currently 1.50. And I'm going to be snacking on a few of these frozen grapes. I like to freeze grapes as a snack. I sometimes get the purple ones, sometimes I get these um, green ones. So I'm gonna be snacking on some frozen grapes. And then I'm also going to eat these cheddar puffs. They are vegan cheese, plant-based. So if you guys can't have dairy, these are really good. So I'm just gonna have this bag right here. I don't really read the macros, but if you guys are into the macros, that is the macros. It's 170 calories. It has zero grams of sugar, two grams of protein. So it's really delicious. So I'm gonna have that and some frozen grapes as a snack. All right, guys, so it is much later. It is 4.15 to be exact. And I'm gonna have another snack because I won't be eating dinner until a little bit later. So I'm gonna have this Power Crunch peanut butter fudge bar. It is so good. If you guys are looking for a um, protein bar that tastes really good. This one is a great one. It only has 13 grams of protein, but it's still really good. So this is one of my favorite protein bars. So I'm gonna have this. 
And then I am now out of my almond butter. There's pretty much nothing in the jar. So I'm gonna be using the kids um, peanut butter and it's just the natural Jif creamy peanut butter. And then I'm gonna cut up this Granny Smith apple. So I'm gonna have Granny Smith apple and dip it in some peanut butter and then also this Power Crunch bar. As you guys can tell, I love peanut butter and almond butter. So that is my, I guess, second snack for the day. And this is what I am eating for dinner. This is just some quinoa, about a cup of quinoa. And then I also have a chicken stir fry. In that stir fry, there's chicken, there's red peppers, green peppers, onions, carrots, and broccoli. I just warmed that up really quickly. This was a meal prep that I had already cooked. And then as you guys can see, I did add a little bit of sriracha to the top. I love like hot sauce, so I always add hot sauce to a lot of my dishes. So that is what I ate for dinner. And then as far as a snack, I did have this after dinner. I always need something sweet after dinner. So I just had some fruit. It was just some cut up strawberries, blueberries, a little bit of this whole grain granola. I think I got these from Aldi's and then some fresh honey. I got this honey from Florida when we were on vacation. My in-laws had a bunch of honey they got from, I don't know where, but they just had a ton. So we brought home a lot and I just drizzled a little bit of that over my fruit. Then I ended up going and editing a lot of my videos so I was up super late and I wanted something to snack on. I just snacked on these sticky rice chips and it's by the brand Dang. If you guys want the calories and all the macros, I just flipped it over so you guys can see really quickly, but it's really good. It's just a plain um, cracker. It doesn't have like any type of flavoring to it, but it's delicious. All right, you guys, so that is going to end my what I eat in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what I ate on this particular day, which was yesterday. It is now currently the following day and I'm just gonna go ahead and close it out. Now, sometimes I eat different things. I don't always eat the same things. Um, I have been meal prepping, so I've been eating a lot of the same like lunches and dinners just because I am meal prepping, but I do like to change it up every once in a while. So if you guys are interested in me doing some more what I eat in a days, then let me know in the comments. I do plan on maybe filming another one in another week or so when I meal prep again, because I will be meal prepping once again um, this weekend to show you guys some different dishes. And I also don't feel like I picked the best day to film this what I eat in a day because I feel like I didn't eat as much as I usually do. I've been trying to eat breakfast and on this particular day I did not eat breakfast just because I was um, in a rush. So I didn't eat breakfast on this day but I usually eat more than what you guys saw in this video. So I do plan on hopefully filming another one of these soon if you guys enjoyed it. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.